Good evening. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for God. We bless his holy name. Another day, another Sunday of the year. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all. We greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. This is this is our Sunday service, virtual so many in Christ ministry. We bless the name of the Lord. For, for for waking us up to see another blessed day. What if what we just our father, we don't know what to what to say. How are we going to thank him? We cannot thank him. We don't have the word that is bigger than not to say thank you to him. Finish. He's so good. Our father is just excellent father, excellent, wonderful, great father that we have. Bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now we like to have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. We thank you for this precious moment. We thank you for this Sunday. Another Sunday of the year. We thank you for each and every one of us for waking us up. Almighty God, to see another blessing for this year. Our beloved ones, Almighty God, and to, to gather at your, as your presence and worship you. Oh, Lord, we are grateful. We are thankful. Lord, thank you. Everlasting Father, come and have your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are worthy, Lord. Amen. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Oh, you are worthy. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Papa God. You are worthy. Worthy, worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. Lord. You are worthy, Papa God. You are worthy. Worthy, worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. Lord. You are worthy, Papa God. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified, Lord. You are worthy, Papa God. You are worthy. Worthy, worthy to be glorified. Our Father God is worthy. What it to be glorified, what it to be exalted, what it to be magnified. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. There is no other God as like our Father, Almighty God. I would like to read from the Word of God in the book of uh, in the, the book of uh, Psalms, the, the, the book of Psalms 150. I read in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We praise His holy name. I read in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. I praise the God in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him for His mighty act. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the sultry and the harp. Praise Him with the timbre and the dance. Praise Him with the string instruments and the organs. Praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Praise Him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has the breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Lord, hallelujah. We praise Master Jesus. We praise Master Jesus. We worship him. He's our father, our lovely daddy, our lovely daddy, excellent, wonderful, great father. Uh, there is no other God as like our father, almighty God. Excellent father, the God of the whole universe, the creator of the whole universe, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of heaven and earth. We, 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 we are blessed being a child of God. God oh, we are choosing, choosing ones. We are choosing, we have been choosing by our Lord Almighty God, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. So right now we are going to start our service. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for his goodness, for his lovely kindness. Right now I will call upon the, the servant of God for the opening prayer. Evangelist John, may the Lord bless you, ma'am.
You are muted, ma'am. Sorry, so sorry. We bless the name of the Lord. The Lord is faithful. The Lord is mighty. He's a mighty God. He's a great God. The wonderful Father, the miracle working God, the only one that set things and it come to pass. We glorify His holy name. We worship His holy name. Worship Him because He is God. Because He is great. Because He is mighty. Because He is faithful. Jehovah, King of glory, I praise your name. I honor you. You are so mighty and faithful. I glorify your name. I adore you, O oh Lord God Almighty. I want to thank you for another Sunday. Thank you for my brother. Thank you for the brother online. Thank you, Father, for those that love me. Thank you for those that are still coming. We bless and honor you in Jesus' name. We glorify God in the name of Jesus for the name of all our brethren. And we want to thank God for making this day possible again for us to be here. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are free. Amen. Come, Jesus, come. Come, 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 Jesus, come. Jesus, come in, come, oh, come. Jesus, come in, come, oh, come, come, come. Come, 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 Jesus, come. Come, 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 Yahweh, come. Yahweh, come, oh, come, oh, come. Yahweh, come, oh, come, oh, come, come, come. Come, 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 Jesus, come. Come, 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 Yahweh, come. Yahweh, come, oh, come, oh, come. Yahweh, come, oh, come, oh, come, 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 Yahweh, come, 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 Yahweh, come, oh, Yahweh, come, oh, come, oh, come, Yahweh, come, oh, come, oh, come, 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 you are Jehovah Jari, you are the Lord of Provider. You are Jehovah Jari, you are Jehovah Jari, you are Jehovah Jari, you are the Lord our provider, you are Jehovah Jari, you are Jehovah Jari, if we all belong to you, we are the owner of our soul, you are Jehovah Jari, you are Jehovah Jari, Allah belong to you, you are the owner of our soul, you are Jehovah Jari. You are Jehovah Jari, see Yahweh, eh Yahweh, eh Yahweh, Yahweh, eh Yahweh, 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 eh Yahweh, Yahweh, eh Yahweh, Yahweh, eh Yahweh, 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 eh Yahweh, eh Yahweh, 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 eh Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 eh, Yahweh, eh, Yahweh, Yahweh, eh, Yahweh, 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 eh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Eh Yahweh, Yahweh, eh Yahweh, you Alpha and Omega, we worship you alone, you are worthy to be praised. You Alpha and Omega, we worship you alone. Oh, you are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We 
worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory. We worship you alone. You are worthy to be praised. Exalt him above all the gold. I know the man, the man of Calvary. Exalt him above all the gold. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. I will leave his name. I will leave his name. I will leave his name. I above all the God. I will leave his name. I will leave his name. I will leave his name. I above all the God. Exalting above all the gold. I know that man, the man of Calvary, exalting above all the gold. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. Yes, Lord, exalt you above all the gold. We know the man. The man of Calvary is on him above all the gold. Father, your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher above all the gold. I will lift your name higher. I will lift your name higher. I will leave your name, I am, above all the gold. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us begin to lift up the name of the Lord. He's the King of kings. He's the King of kings. He's the Rose of Sharon. He's the mighty man in battle. He's the Sharon of Roses. He's our God, our maker. Let us begin to lift his name, I am, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Oh, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, we exalt your name. We worship you, O Father. We worship you, Rock of Ages. We worship you, O King of Glory. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you, Father. No one is compared to you, O Lord God Almighty. We bless you, Lord. We honor your name. We exalt your name because you are God, because you are mighty, because you are faithful. We exalt you, O God Almighty. We exalt you, O Lord. Of ages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be that name, Lord. Blessed be the name of the King. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We worship you, my Lord. We worship you, my King. We worship you, King of glory. We worship you, Rock of ages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, O Lord God. Thank you, God of God of God. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, my Father and my God. We give you praise, Lord. We thank you for another life. We thank you for another time. We thank you for a day like this. Thank you, Father, for strength. Thank you, Lord, for the Food we get today. Thank you, Lord, for the water we drink. Blessed be that holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we worship you. We adore you. We magnify you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Of glory. Thank you, Shenzo. Thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name, Father. You are awesome. Amen. Hallelujah. We are opening our Bible in the book of First John. Because first John, first John chapter eight and nine. He said, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. He said, but he said, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to clean us from all unrighteousness. We are going to go before the Lord and ask him for mercy. 
there is no way we can claim that we never sin. But he said that if we confess our sin, he's faithful to clean all unrighteous, all unrighteousness in us. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Let us go before the throne of grace and mercy. Father God Almighty, have mercy. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me, O Father. Have mercy on me, King of God. Lord God Almighty, have mercy. Have mercy, Lord God Almighty. Anything I may have done, O Lord, anything I have committed, Father, consciously or unconsciously, my Lord, my King, I ask you for mercy. Jehovah King, anything I have committed with my dog, any sin I have committed with my mind, any sin I have committed, oh Lord, with my leg, with my eye, with my hands, I ask you for mercy. I ask you for mercy, Lord. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on me, Father. Have mercy on me, mighty God. Have mercy on me, faithful. Have mercy on me, oh me, oh Lord God Almighty. Have mercy on me, O King of Glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Father, have mercy. Lord God, have mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Daddy, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Almighty Redeemer. You are so mighty and faithful. By a glorious God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. We give you all the praise, all the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we are still praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are still praying. With Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 25, he said, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idol. I will clean you. Let us go before God and ask him to cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. Let him cleanse water, purify us, cleanse, justify us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Holy my Father, my God, God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty, Almighty God, Father, purify Lord God Almighty, we come before you, Lord. We pray to you, O Lord God Almighty, that may you use the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus to cleanse us from all sin. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse us from all sin, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Sprinkle your clean water in us, Lord. Sprinkle your clean water in us. Cleanse us from all fitness. Fitness of the spirit, fitness of the flesh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Break any eye power of idol in our life, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power of idol in our life, Lord God Almighty, let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we worship your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 36, 27, he said, And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and ye shall keep my judgment unto them. It is only the spirit of God that can make us to walk in the statute of God. It is only the spirit of God that can make us to act according to God's way. We are going to welcome that Holy Spirit here. We are going to welcome the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the living God here, so that he come and take control and do everything and bring everything to our mem memory. As it is said in John 14, 26, let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, we call upon your spirit, O oh Lord. Let your spirit, O oh Lord Almighty, come and come over us. Let your spirit come and fill us, Lord. Fill our heart with your spirit. Fill our heart with your spirit. Fill our heart with your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, fill our heart with your spirit. Fill our heart with your spirit, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father and my God. Fill our heart with your spirit, O oh Lord God Almighty. Fill our heart with your your spirit, oh Father, you are so mighty, you are so faithful and glorious. We give you praise and adoration. We thank you, my Father and my God. We thank you, Rock of Ages. We thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my King. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And the truth in Jesus' name. In the in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. The, we are still going to pray. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah. 
before we go to the book of Isaiah, the Bible says we raise us against flesh and blood, but against principality and power in the highest places. Now, let us begin to cover ourselves with all the armor of God, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, Jehovah King of Glory, my Father, my Father, cover our self with all the armor of God, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover our self with all the armor of God, O oh Father, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The whole armor of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, we cover each and every. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Thank you, faithful Redeemer. We feel it with the precious blood of Jesus, we exalt you, O Lord. We exalt you, O Lord. Thank you, my Father and my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 15, he said, The whole day shall surely gather together. He said, But not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against me shall fall for that sake. Against thee shall fall for that sake. We are going to call upon God that wherever they are gathered, as they gather, let them scatter. Because mm -hmm. it is also said in the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, verse 37, that who can say thing, it comes to pass if God has not said it. Now, God has said that wherever they gather against us, it is not by him. Wherever they gather, they will scatter. Let us begin to pray that let them scatter. Wherever they are gathered against the children of God at this time of the day, wherever they are gathered to fight against this program, May God scatter them in the name of Jesus' prayers. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ancient, so the Father, King of Glory, a Rock of Ages. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. My Father, my Lord, and I will be with you. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. Let the Lord of my two be before you, O Lord God Almighty. We are not going to pray. <clears throat> we are not going to pray for, for, for the servant of the Lord. The one the Lord has chose today to bring his message to us. We are going to commit her to God and ask God to flow to her, even as God will fill her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Mm -hmm. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Jehovah King of glory, Lord God Almighty, we pray, O oh Lord. Father, Lord God, for your daughter as we preserve her before you. We ask you, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, we ask you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, that may you feel her, O oh Lord, to the brim. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Feel her, O oh Lord God Almighty. Feel her, O oh faithful Redeemer. Feel her. Uh, o King of Glory, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, may you feel her. 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 May you feel her, O mighty Redeemer. May you feel her, O mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, be that exalted. Lord God, be that exalted. Feel her, O Lord God Almighty. Strengthen her, Lord, against any spirit of destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Rock of Ages. In Jesus mighty name Amen. we pray Jesus name. Amen. let us commit the choir the testimony the testimony to god and ask god to glorify himself in mm -hmm. anything any word of testimony any song of praise or worship may god glorify himself on it in the name of of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father God Almighty, in the oh, name Lord, of Jesus Lord, Christ, Lord, Father, we commit, O oh Lord, the praise and worship to you. We commit the testimony to you, Lord. We pray to O Lord God Almighty, that may you take control over all. That may you take control over all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah King of Glory, take control over all. You are the mighty God. You are the faithful God. You are the glorious God. You are the mighty Redeemer. Father God Almighty, glorify yourself. Glorify yourself. 
yourself in those prayers. Glorify yourself, O Lord, in our midst today. Glorify yourself in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the praise and adoration. Thank you, Rock of Ages. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. My Father and my God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God Almighty, we thank you, O Lord God Almighty, for gathering us again today, Lord. We thank you for all the promises that you have for us, Father. Lord, your promises is that when we call you, you hear us and answer you, O Lord. We just want to say thank you. We thank you, Father, for saying, O Lord, that we can do all things through Christ that strengthened us, Father. We say thank you. We thank you, Lord God, for because you told us that with you nothing is impossible. Thank you, mighty Father. Father, we pray the O Lord God Almighty, Father, Lord God, that as we are gathering today, Father, may your glory, O Lord God Almighty, be seen amongst, amongst us today in the mighty name of Jesus. We seal ourselves with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for our brethren online. Thank you for those that just look in now. Thank you for their life and family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare this service open in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have opened. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, my more grace, ma'am. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name for the opening prayer. May the Lord bless you Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So right now we are in the we are now right now we are going to worship our Father, as He said, we we worship Him in the Spirit and the truth. We are going to bless his soul in the word he cannot give to himself. We are going to give it to him. That is praise. We are going to open our mouth and join the choirs and praise the Lord Almighty God. And we welcome our choir, the youth, our youth uh, choir in Cameroon. The youth in the Cameroon, our choirs. We welcome you. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. We thank God for our choir's life. More grace, more anointing from above or to you all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. And the Lord bless you all. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Come into your presence, my helper. 
Father, we worship you for who you are. We say thank you, Lord. You are so good. You are so kind, Lord. And I accept the praise and worship from us, oh Lord. Father, you are worthy. You are excellent. You are wonderful, great Father. You are mighty in the great Father. We thank you. Amen. Praise, Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you all. May the Lord bless you for this. Uh, Praise and worship. We bless the name of the Lord for, for, for increase you people, more grace, more anointing from above or to you. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. I will still welcome you. 
once again, may the Lord bless you for the hymn. May the Lord bless you and welcome you in Jesus' name. When you look upon life below you a tempest toast. When you are discouraged thinking all is lost. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Are you ever bondage with the Lord of care? Does the cross seem heavy? You are called to bear. Count your many blessings, let them down to fly. As you will be singing as the day goes by. Count your blessings, Count your blessings name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. When you look at others, read the last and go. Things that Christ has promised you, his word unto. Count your many blessings and just will attain. Help and comfort give you to your journey end. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. So I mean the complex weather, great or small. Do not be discouraged, God is over all. Count your many blessings, name them one by one. As you will be singing as the day goes by. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. We can count our bless our blessings and uncountable. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all. More grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord for that Him in Jesus' name. Amen. So our Bible reading, I will call upon our sister, Sister uh, Destiny. May the Lord bless you. I read in Jesus' name, Psalms chapter 130, 34, verse 1 to 3. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, which by, which by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth, bless thee out of Zion. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you for that, for, 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 for the word of God, the book of Psalms 134. 
Then the Lord bless you. We bless the name of the Lord. We are going to bless the Lord as Father God said. We should bless him. We are the servants of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, my sister. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. So right now, testimony time. Testimony time, blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Testimony time, blessing time. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for another Sunday. Thank you. I want to give glory to God for, you know, for giving me this opportunity to be among the living, to see 2021, today is 24th of October. It's by the grace of God, because seeing how people are dying, even with a common headache, you see people are dying and sleeping, they're not waking up, seeing you awake, seeing other people around you, you know, it's the grace of God. It's all about grace. And I thank God because we are not taking the grace of God for granted. The grace of God is, God is giving us another grace, another opportunity to make it right. The things that was wrong yesterday for us to correct it. So I thank God for my life because each day I'm learning something. Each day the grace of God is teaching me something. So I thank God for keeping me alive till this day. May the Lord bless us all in Jesus name. Amen. May the Lord bless you, my more grace in the name of Jesus Christ. We, th we thank God for your life. We cover that testimony with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Testimony time. Praise Master Jesus. How we testify the goodness of God in my life. We bless the name of the Lord and thank God for God. My testimony is my life, I'm alive. My husband is alive. My children are alive. My family member alive. We bless the name of the Lord. And another testimony, I still have my one of my daughter, God added another year to her year. I just bless the name of the Lord. I still have another testimony. My husband traveled yesterday. He went to where he went, where he where, where he, he, he went, he got the, he got the safety. Um, uh, we got there. We thank God for the for the safety and the safe their journey for him. I thank God for I thank God for taking him there. I bless the name of the Lord. I thank God. That is my testimony for all of us. We are alive. I thank God for God. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. I see my testimony with the precious Lord of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. I will welcome and our followers online that are following us. May the Lord bless you for, for following us, for tuning in. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I welcome, uh, I welcome each and every one of us in the forum. I will start from our leader, Evangelist Mary. May the Lord bless you, man, in Jesus' name. I welcome Evangelist Jan. May the Lord bless you, man. I welcome Sister the, Sister Regine. May the Lord bless you, my sister. I welcome Pastor Ned James. May the Lord bless you, sir. I welcome Sister Ned Plamedy. May the Lord bless you, Sister Destiny. May the Lord bless you, Brad Jason. May the Lord bless you. You are waiting out there. We have to put you in. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank God. In the name of me, the Lord bless me as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord bless all of us in Jesus' name. So right now we are going to the word of God. The word of God, the Father, Lord Jesus Christ, and Father God said in his word, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So right now, let us prepare ourselves to eat the manna of the heavenly manna right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are going to pray for the servants of God. For more grace for God to anoint uh, her voice, her, uh, her lips, for God to be with her, for God to give her the grace to remember everything that He wants us to hear. For God to open her spiritual ear to hear Father God directly as the Almighty God is speaking. She repeating what Father God is saying to us in the name of Jesus. And let us uh, pray for her 
In Jesus' name, let us pray for her. Oh, Lord, my heavenly Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Asians of this. And I will pray for your daughter, Almighty God, when you're choosing her to be, Almighty God, the one that you use to deliver our message and that your message to us today. And our God, we thank you. We bless you. And the Father, anoint our fresh, Almighty God. Anoint our voice. Anoint our lips, Almighty God. Father, open our ears, open our understanding. Help her to hear your voice clearly as you are saying what you are saying. Help her to hear and repeat what you are saying to us, Almighty God. And I build the head of protection around the mighty God in the name of Jesus. For anoint our fresh almighty God. You anointed that come from above unto her father. In the name of your father send your angels to encamp around her right now. Protect her. In the name of your protect her family and the household right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, every spirit of distraction will come against it. We bond every spirit of distraction. We cast it out of our life, of our home. We send it back to the abyss and let them remember all that in Jesus. And Father, we cover her with your precious blood. Oh, Jesus, now we thank you. We cover the word that you have given to her to deliver to us with to so that word with the blood of Jesus Christ in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. And we welcome the woman of God. Praise Master Jesus, Evangelist John. May the Lord bless you. Eh? Evangelist. <laughs> Evangel I think Evangelist John, we have something for us. Anyway, I thank God for God. Evangelist. Evangelist Mary, God and the Lord you. bless you, and the Lord bless you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for this wonderful opportunity that you gave me, O Lord, Father, to be the one to deliver this message, O Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, Father, I pray, O Lord. As I'm going to deliver this message, Lord Father, silence every flesh in me, O Lord, Father, let the Holy Spirit take over, let the Holy Spirit lead me, let the Holy Spirit put the right word in my mouth, in the mighty name of Jesus. I have no power to deliver this message, O Lord, Father, it's by your grace, it's by your mercy, O Lord Jesus, Christ, Father, in any way, O Lord Jesus, Father, I'm not qualified, O Lord, Father, to be the one to deliver this message, Father, have mercy, cleanse my soul, but this Spirit, to the blood of Jesus, O Lord, Father. Show me, O oh Lord, Father, your compassion, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hmm. Amen. Oh, praise God. Uh, we are reading the book of Mark 13. Let us start from um, verse 30 to 37. Hallelujah. The title of our message today is Watch and Pray. Hallelujah. That come against every spirit of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name. I read in Jesus' name. Verily I say unto you that this generation shall not pass until, <clears throat> until all these things be done. Hallelujah. 31 say, heaven and hell shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. 32 says, but on that day and that hour, no, knoweth not man, nor the angel which are in heaven, neither the son, but the father. 33, take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know, ye not know when the time is for the son of man is a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch watch ye therefore for ye not know when the master of the house cometh at evening or in the midnight at the uh, the cock crowing or in the morning let's come sadly he found you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch. Hallelujah. The Lord Jesus Christ is giving us a warning not to be distracted, to watch into prayer. Why do we have to watch? In several Bible verses, in several chapters, he talked to us in the book of Mark about watch and pray in the book of Matthew, watch and pray in the book of Luke, watch and pray in first peter watch and pray even in the book of corinthians he told us in seven he was always reminding us to watch and pray why because he has given us the sign he has given us the sign that you happen before he's coming he said when you see those signs are coming to pass 
Watch those signs. As you are watching those signs, don't be distracted. Put yourself in prayer. Start praying. Father, this is the sign number one that you talk about. Even in the book of Revelation, it talk about the signs. In the book of Matthew, it talk about the sign. It says in the book of Revelation, when he opened the first seal, look at the event that took place. When he opened the second seal, where the event, we are seeing all these events happening. How many seal that have been opened so far? And how many remain? We need to watch all those signs that is happening around us. And for us to pray that on that day, you will not take us in destruction. When you see the first sign, check your life. Am I ready? If you are not ready, it's time for you to pray. Pray for repentance. Pray for preparation. And start examining yourself. That's why when you say watch and pray, so you don't watch and stay folding your hand. He said when you watch, it's for you to pay attention. It's for you to be aware of the time you are living and start preparing yourself spiritually. Preparing yourself. And the only way we can prepare ourselves is through prayer. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key to prepare ourselves. Are we ready? We all celebrate. We all sing in it. We all to talk it. But we never knew the impact of it. We never knew the, the uh, how can I, what is the right word to use. And Jesus is coming. We put the smile in our face. Jesus is coming with light in your mouth. Jesus is coming. You are still stealing. Jesus is coming. You are still backbiting. Jesus is coming. You are not even ready. But you know Jesus is coming. Destruction is the one that is killing the children of God. It's not because we don't know. We know about it. But we are deep in destruction. We don't even know the sign we are facing right now. We don't know how many signs we are facing right now. You see, in 2012, I is it 2012? No, in 2014, I was just checking something. And I saw how people were sharing eh, the event that is taking place all over the world. Eh, the river so, 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 a place, it turned to a blood. Eh, the, I saw a one video, the catfish was raining. It was raining catfish. Catfish was falling from the, the sky. Where those catfish was coming, nobody, I think it, it happened in Thailand or something like that. And people were sharing the video. Hey, look at what is happening. They are sharing the video, but they are not discerning the time. The rain is falling in India, one part of the India, and the rain is falling as blood. And they are wondering, where is this blood coming? They were checking it to see whether it's real blood or something else. And the fish on the sea are dying, just like the book of Revelation say. And the people are deep, distracted. They are not checking. It's time for us to pray. Say, Father, if today is the day, Am I ready? The things that is not ready in my life, Father, make it ready. Father, take away the thing, the work of the flesh that is still dominating my life, that is making me not to be prepared, that is making me to be distracted, that is making me, if that day you have to come, you will see me, I'll, I'll be among the five foolish ones. That I know that we are waiting for our Lord Jesus. All of them, they fell asleep spiritually. But the other one was wise, prepared. Immediately when they hear the sound, they was already awake and ready to thumb the alarm. But what about the other foolish? Is it not because they did not know that just the, 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 the bridegroom is coming? They knew about it, but they was getting ready in the wrong time. When they knew the sign, but they was not prayerful. They were not praying. This is the time. What time? The season that you are living now. The things are happening. I'm hearing people are commenting. Eh, the next sign is famine. The next sign is famine. Do you know how they're preparing? By buying food. It's not bad to buy food to keep it in our house because we need it. It's not bad. But the way the way we're preparing for a food to be in our house, we should also prepare our soul to be ready on that day. You know what makes people be afraid when somebody enter with a gun? You know what makes us to be shaking when somebody come with knife ready to kill somebody? Because we know 
in our heart, our conscience is telling us that Mary, don't play with your life. You are not ready. You better run for your life. Don't even allow this boy to shoot you. Because by the time to shoot you, you open your eyes in hellfire. Why are we so afraid? Because we know our conscience cannot lie to us. Our heart cannot deceive us. We know that we are not yet on that standard. We are not ready. And if we know we are not ready, why are we waiting to start changing? Why are we waiting? Are we waiting for the trumpet to sound? Are we waiting for the trumpet to sound? We should not wait for our alarm to go off in the wrong time. When you not have opportunity, when you cannot borrow it, let us prepare ourselves now. Jesus is telling us in the book of Mark, he said, take heed that nobody will deceive you. Take heed. Be careful. Pay attention. Watch the sign that is happening around you and start praying for your, your salvation. That's why this Bible verse, it means. Start preparing. You know, in the book of, uh, in this one, it said, take heed. In Mark 13, it said, take heed. Let's say in the book of Matthew 26, 41, it said, watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. He changed it. He make it in a way that not focusing just on taking it, but also watch and pray to avoid you entering into a temptation of doing something that you will not please God. You understand? If you go in the book of Luke 21, 36, it says, watch therefore and pray always that ye may be count worthy. Ye may be count worthy. It's true, but it's true watching and praying that you may be qualified to enter. Let us go by one by one. Let us go start from Matthew 26 first. Matthew 26, 41. Matthew 26, 41 say, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Our flesh can make, make us not to fulfill the will of spirits. By suffocating our spirit with the work of flesh that is not glorifying, that you make our spirit not to get, not to get connected, not to have a good relationship with God, the work of the flesh. He said, watch and pray. Why is he telling us to watch and pray that you will not enter into temptation? Because the body has its own desire that it can make you to be attempted of it. Ah, let me just try. Ah, this one, I don't think it's bad. But your conscience is telling you it's bad. But you want to try because you cannot contain, you cannot control the desire of the flesh. That's why you see, after knowing the truth, you are still falling into a sin. It's not because you don't know what that is sin. We are still sinning will, willfully. You know that this is a sin. You are still falling on it. Hey, God have mercy on me. No. I'm not saying that you surpass the stage of saying God have mercy. Mercy is continuously. But try to get to the stage of getting deliverance. Go to deliver you to that stage. The thing that is making you to fall. That very sin all the time. Often. Pray. That is the time. It's a watch your action. Why you keep on falling in that sin? This is time to start watching. What makes you to fall in that sin several times? What makes you to fall that sin? This is the time now to pray. To say, mm, this is the second time I fall in the same sin. This is the second time each time I, uh, I, get, I keep on asking for mercy for this sin. God, it's time for pray for deliverance. God, deliver me so that I will not fall in that temptation again. Because my spirit is willing to make heaven, but my flesh is blocking my spirit from entering to heaven. This is the time to fight those powers. Take heed for, uh, for <coughs> take heed for you not know when the dead will come and take you into a, your judgment. You don't know. You don't know where dead will visit you and come and take you for your judgment. That's why I say watch and pray. 
Because if the day of your judgment, you'll be prepared. The Bible says in the book of Luke, you'll be count worthy. You'll be count worthy. You will not be afraid. Rather, you'll be happy because you know that, yes, you have made it. Hallelujah. Watch and pray that you will be count, you will be, you, your ways, you, may, you will make your ways right before the Lord. Hallelujah. Christians are seeing all this happening. All those signs that Jesus said that if you see those signs, this sign, he mentioned them one by one. So that you'll be aware of it. You'll be alerted. You'll be aware of it. He can't them one by one. He said, this one will happen. This one will happen. This one will happen. But when you start seeing all those signs, it's time for you to pray. It's time for you to start preparing yourself. He said, pray without ceasing. Don't stop. Because the day you stop is the day that the enemy will come and sow evil seed. It's the day that the enemy will come and sow evil seed. Pray continuously. Hallelujah. So that you will not fall into, the, into temptation. Because the body, the flesh, contains desire, pleasure, that can make you disobey the spirit. It contains the desire that will make you to, dis to disobey the spirit. You see what happened to our brother, Samson, the desire, the flesh, make his spirit to be weak by disobeying the word of God. They say, don't go and marry that place there because they're the enemy of God. You're supposed to fight them, not to be closer to them, not to be with them. He went there until he met Delilah. And what happened? What happened? Because he followed the, the, the temptation, he fell into the temptation of his own flesh. Look what happened. Let us quickly read Judge, the book of Judge 16, 19. We need to be very careful in this, our heavenly race. The enemy is not our friend. This is the time we know that we are getting closer. This is the time that you want to deceive many of us. By bringing destruction that will make us, listen what the Bible said. Because he fell into temptation. He was not watching. He was not praying. He said, and she made him sleep upon a knee. Sleeping in the wrong time. When Jesus said that we should watch, not to sleep like others, but to be sober. When to be sober? He said in, in the book of the first he said, watch and pray. Don't sleep like others. Rather be sober. Watch into prayer. Look, she made, uh, and she made him sleep upon a knee. And she called it for a man, and she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. And, the, and she began to afflict him, and his strength went from him. She began to afflict him. Afflict him. Because the presence of God was not there anymore. So, Samson, it's not because he did not know that this woman was up to something evil. Because this woman tried him, tried him several times until he fell in that temptation that caused the spirit, the spirit of God to leave him because his flesh was weak. He gave himself to desire of his flesh rather than the spirit. When the first, the, the, this woman lied to him for the first time, he did not pay attention. He was so deep in destruction. He was so deep in destruction. He did not know that this is the first sign. Why this woman want to discover my strength? I lied to her. He brought people to come and, and arrest me. Thank God I lied to her. That's why they, they couldn't discover my secret. The second time, you see distracted until you fall in that sin. Until she succeed. Because he was not watching. He was not watching all the sign God was giving to him. Be careful, this woman. She's up to something bad. But he allowed destruction, the temptation to overcome. Look at what happened to him. This woman, he succeed on a mission. He make him to sleep. And to do what? And to cut his relationship with God. To take away.
away the spirit to disconnect him with God so that they can destroy his life. That's why God is telling us that we to be careful. Watch. You know that this relationship with this person is not healthy. Come out among them. Let the rapture take you distracted, doing something that is not pleasing God. God is giving you the sign. God is giving you the sign to be careful, to be watchful, to be prayerful. To be watchful, to be prayerful. Unless you fall into the temptation of doing something that is bad, that will cost you your, your eternity. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of Luke 21. Luke 21, 36. It says, watch here therefore and pray always. You see, here, our Lord Jesus even went more deep. He said, pray always. Because when he said to the other Bible verse that watch and pray, people was thinking that watch once and pray once. No. He said, watch here therefore and pray always. He's giving us commandment to pray without ceasing. To not to give space to the enemy to come. So that you not fall into the temptation. It says, wash ye therefore and pray always that ye may be counted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of God, the Son of Man. He's talking about our Lord Jesus. He's talking about our judgment. He said, pray, watch and pray always so that on that day you'll be counted worthy. When you stand before our Lord Jesus, you'll be counted worthy to enter into his kingdom. To enter into his kingdom because you have made yourself ready. You have prepared yourself by watching the sign that is happening around you. By cleansing yourself through the word of God. By continuously praying for repentance. And asking the blood of Jesus to wash you. To cleanse you. He said we should cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and the spirit. So that you can perfect holiness with the fear of God. What do you think you can perfect? How do you perfect the hol holiness with the fear of God? If you are not prayerful. If you are not watchful. When you are watching. You are watching things that are happening. You know how to target your prayer points. You know how to target your prayer points. When you see that. In your dreams, you are seeing the dreams that is not pleasing God. This is the time to go into fasting. Because you are so watchful. You are watching everything that is happening in your life. You don't wait for anybody to, go, to ask you to go into fasting. You know that you need to fight those powers that are fighting your spirit. Because it's your spirit that you need to be can't worthy. You need to be can't worthy. It will make you to escape the judgment of God that is coming because nobody will escape the judgment of God. Nobody. Nobody will escape, will escape the judgment of God. In the book of Ecclesiastes 10, I think, 14. Let us go to the book of Ecclesiastes so that I will not make mistake of giving the wrong Bible verse. I think it's Ecclesiastes 10, 14. I believe. Oh, God. Yes, Ecclesiastes 12, sorry, I was saying 10, it was 12. Ecclesiastes 12, 14 say, For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret things, whether it be good or whether it will be evil. That means whether you are doing the, the good things, you still have to pass through the judgment of God. You still have to pass through Jesus because he's the door. Is the door, is the way and the door for you to enter. So you must pass through him to congratulate you. Welcome, my faithful servant. And also to reject you, depart, you are faithful servant. So whether we like it or not, whatever we are doing things, we need to have it in our mind that we stand before the judgment of God. We will stand before the judgment of God. And everything that you are doing, they will bring it. They will bring it into judgment. They will bring it into judgment. That's why we need to watch and pray. So that on that day, we become worthy to stand before the Son of Man. To stand before our Lord Jesus Christ with that confidence in our heart that yes, 
just like it. I wish to have that confidence of Apostle Paul. He was so confident that if I die today, I'll see my master because he knew the kind of life he was living. He was not afraid of death. What makes us to be afraid of death today is because we know our conscience is telling us that we are not yet ready. We are watching inside destruction. We are not praying enough. We are not making ourselves ready. We are not making ourselves ready. In 1 Peter 4.7, the book of 1 Peter 4.7, God, let the enemy not deceive us by saying that oh because we are we are always a praying we are always reading the bible we are right with god let us not be deceived let us check our life daily apostle Paul, because before he had that confidence he cried to god he knew the kind of challenge that he was facing the trials he was facing the temptation he was facing inside him he said who can deliver me he said, let it not be that I'm preaching to others. I myself will be cast away. Because he knew that if he doesn't change, if he doesn't get deliverance to that spirit that was tormenting him, he have the possibility of doing, leading people to heaven and he himself be cast away. He could not be cast away after seeing revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. After seeing heaven. Do you know how many times he saw heaven? He saw our Lord Jesus Christ. He heard him. He was not sleeping with his eyes open. You know, he did, he, did, he, he did not go into fasting as we praying to go into fasting, our Lord Jesus to encounter us. He saw him like this, but he knew after seeing our Lord Jesus, you can still miss heaven. After all, having all those revelations that you have so far, you can still miss heaven if you are not watchful, if you're not watch and pray. That is the danger. Don't be too confident. That's why the Bible is telling us, be careful. Let's hear that thing that is standing. Take heed. Unless you do what? Unless you fall. Unless you fall. Unless you fall. Watch your life. Watch your lifestyle. Check everything about you. Compare it with the word of God. Are you still standing? Are you even born again? You can be doing the work of God. You are not born again. You can be reading the Bible. You are not born again. Because those are preaching prosperity. They are not born again. That's why they will never preach salvation. They will only preach healthy things. Are you born again? Are you watching what is happening around you? Yes. After famine. If you cannot stand the tribulation of these days that you have the Holy Spirit, you have the blood of Jesus, you have the word of God. You see how uh, when Antichrist start operating. This is the time the deceiving spirit is already started deceiving many. And many are departing from faith. They are going back to the world. He said, 1 Peter 4 verse 7 says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and you watch into prayer. How many times our Lord Jesus, how many times the word of God is telling us to be sober, to watch into prayer? Are we still watching into prayer? Or are we still distracted? That is the word of God. Are we still watching into prayer? Oh, see, the end of all things at hand. That means the signs that our Lord Jesus talked about is almost be fulfilled, all of them. Are you still watching into prayer? Are you sober? Are you, are you uh, aware of it? Are you aware of it? Some people, distraction is so much that they believe that the mark of the beast has started. How can the mark of the beast start before rapture? Can the church of God face the mark of the beast? It's those that will be left behind that will face the mark. Not the church of God. Destruction will not allow them to watch the sign that Jesus talked about. He said after all those things, people say that, oh, we are facing tribulation. When Jesus himself said it will be very bad that because of the elect sick, it will make those days to be shortened. Do you think Corona is the a, is a tribulation Jesus is talking about? 
May the Lord really help us to watch into prayer so that the enemy will not deceive us. You will not bring destruction and you will not sin against God. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Quit your like a man, be strong. You see, he said, watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Faith will make you to stand firm, not to compromise. Faith will make you to be watchful, that the enemy will not come. Faith it will make you to believe the word of God the way it is. Nobody will be able to deceive you. Hallelujah. That is the faith. Faith without work is dead. It stands first in faith. Do not depart from faith. Many people, because of one thing to another, they are departing from faith. They are departing from faith. They are following the ways of the world. They are following the ways of the world. They are departing from faith. The Bible is telling us in Ephesians 5, verse uh, 16, it says, Redeeming, <clears throat> it says, Redeeming the time because of the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We are living in the evil days that we need to be watchful, to need to be sober. Watch and pray because the days are evil. It says in the book of Daniel that when you see the abomination that Daniel talked about, this is the time that the abomination is increasing. The abomination is increasing. The abomination is increasing in the very bad way. Somebody was saying that, he saw it in the news. That one restaurant in America, they are, they are selling a human being flesh. And they say they are not killing. It's the people that they are thinking, donating, whatever thing. You understand? This is the abomination increasing. Even when you buy your food, you have to pray over it. Because we are living in evil days. When you don't know the food you are eating, when they are preparing it. The manufacture of this food, you don't even know whether they are God-fearing people. They're putting pollution, all those things, to wake everybody's spiritual life. We need to be careful. This is the time that we need to be sober. We need to be watchful. We need to be watchful. You know? We need to be watchful. Now our eyes need to be more open than before because we are getting closer and the enemy is working hard also to deceive many you know christians see what is happening but they are watching in destruction they know all those signs they are watching in destruction they're distracted it's not because they are not saying it they are watching in destruction Oh, we know a hey, rapture. Some people that are calling our Lord Jesus to come when they are not ready. Instead of praying and make themselves ready, they are busy doing what will not profit them. Some are even trying, but they are careless about their spiritual lives. They are watching, they are praying, but they are watching, they are praying, but they are not taking heed about their attitude, about their action, about their behavior, you know. They are not taking it. Let us quickly turn to Matthew 24. In the book of Matthew 24. Book of Matthew 24, 37 verse... Um, from verse 37, where is it? Matthew 24, yeah. Verse 37 to verse 39, it says, But as the day of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 
For as in the day that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving into marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. 39. And they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You see that? In the time of Noah, that kind of destruction, just like today. Noah was preaching to them all this while. He was preaching to them. They were not listening. Until God gave commandment to say, bow the ark. Only God knows how many days, how many months, how many years the ark took to be ready. But the people were still distracted. Even when the rain started for, when, even when Noah entered into the ark, they were so distracted that they did not pay attention that Noah is no longer among us. Noah, we are not seeing Noah anymore. So Noah and his family, they are not there anymore. They have entered the ark. They were so bland in destruction. They was doing their daily activities just like a normal thing. They did not see the sign that Noah was telling them, after when I finish building this ark, I will enter with my family. Anybody that wants to be safe with me, come and join me. They did not pay attention of the sign that the ark is already, they didn't even notice that the ark is already finished. They did not even notice that Noah was not there anymore. Even when Noah was making the animals to enter, all the beasts to enter the ark, they were so busy in their daily activity that they did not pay attention. Why Noah is putting all those uh, crocodiles to enter, anaconda to enter, um, elephant to enter? Why is Noah is doing this? Why is he doing this? Nobody was interested to know until the flood came. Then they understood, they realized that, oh, Noah was saying that the flood will take place. Ah, oh, Noah was saying that God will destroy. When they see that the, the water starts passing their, their chest, the water starts getting to their neck, then they realize that, oh, the word of God has been fulfilled. Will you wait until people start disappearing? Will you wait until you close your, your eyes to death and you find yourself before the Lord? And you start asking for one minute for mercy when it's already too late. You know that after death, there's no mercy. We all know about it. After death, there's no mercy. So you're waiting now when you don't have opportunity to be saved for you to start asking for mercy. Just like Noah preached, preached no one was listening. Just like Noah preached, no one was listening to them. In the same manner, people today are also refusing to hear the message of salvation. The message of holiness, the message of righteousness, the weapon that Jesus used to overcome was prayer and the word of God. The word of God and prayer. Because he was always reminding Satan that it is written. Even when he was talking to Pharisees, he was using the word of God. And he was always constantly praying that we are talking about God himself. He was always praying. He was reminding his disciples, even in the last day, he told them, pray. He was telling them, you cannot even wait for an hour to pray, to pray with me. Pray so that you don't fall into temptation. When Jesus was telling them to pray so that they will not fall into temptation, they were busy sleeping. And guess what? When they came to arrest our Lord Jesus, because the temptation was so much, they did not avoid temptation by praying. One of them cut another soldier's ears. That's what Jesus said. Do you think I don't have power to do all these things? Do you think I don't have power to do? If I wanted to help, will I not call my heavenly father to send help to come and do this thing? He took the ears and put it back. He said, this is the reason why he was telling them to pray so that the flesh will not manifest in the wrong time. Because this is flesh that made them to use the physical strength to fight. That's why he used that weapon to cut because it was with the anger, flesh, the work of the flesh. He could not stand temptation of harming another person, of killing another person. Jesus says, stop. This is not what I call you guys for. But anyway, it's over. What I needed you to be awake to pray is already taking place. So 
Be strong now. Stand on your own. Remember every single word that I ever preached to you. That's why in the book of um, John is telling us that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. To teach us and to bring everything in remembrance, whatever Jesus has told us. Or the word of God is telling us to remember in the time like that. So that the temptation will not come and overcome us. Watch into prayer. Watch and pray will make you to remain faithful in the presence of God. No matter what is happening around you, it will make you faithful into the presence of God. And to avoid distraction. That's why Jesus said in the book of Matthew 24, in that day, even if they tell you that we saw Christ there, don't follow them. Be faithful in one place to pray. You know? Distraction will make you not to pay attention on things that is happening around you. Just like in the time of Noah. Those people was not paying attention of the sign. <clears throat> what the sign and pray for God to make you ready at any moment that our Lord Jesus will come, will come and meet us to make you ready so that that day you'll be counted worthy. Destruction will make you not to discern the time we are living, just like now. The destruction is not giving us time to discern. Some people are tired of waiting. People are tired of waiting. I've been in this journey of holiness. The rapture is not, it's not, it's still not taking place. Therefore, let me continue what I'm doing. I still have time. My brother, my sister, you might be taking the wrong decision in the wrong time. After, after all these signs that are coming to pass, Christians are still distracted. They are still deep distracted. They are not watching. They are not watching. They are not watching the signs that is happening around us. The Bible is telling us to watch and pray. Watch and pray. Watch your spiritual life and pray about it for transformation. For God to convert you, to change you. Watch your attitude. Watch the things that you are doing. So that on that day, you become worthy. Because you will not fall into the temptation. The same temptation that uh, our brother Samson fall into. After all the sign, they gave you the first sign, this woman is a liar, I want to destroy me. But you still, you are there. Instead of run away from her. Will you not say that, mm, this one that is doing this one, this snare of the enemy, he want to take my salvation, let me run. No, 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 no. He stayed there until the last minute. Until the enemy fulfill his plan. They are telling you that this your attitude is not pleasing God. They, they, my brother, my sister, this one is wrong. What you are doing is not good. You are still doing it. Believing that your anointing will save you. Anointing will not save anybody. Do you know how many people that was anointed and they are in hellfire? Do you know how many people with gift doing the great wonders that are even known in this world? As performing great wonders, miracles, but they are swimming in hellfire because their work of righteousness you will not save anybody. But your relationship with God, watch and pray on that day, so that on that day you'll be counted worthy to enter into the kingdom of God. Watch the things that is happening around you. Yes, watch. If you go to sleep now, you don't wake up. If you go out and you don't come back, are you better than those people that are having car crash? Are you better than those people that are going out? I was seeing something yesterday. That this man, he left his house. He was going to work. He had a lost bullet that took his life. A lost bullet was no target for him. He was just passing and he meets him. That's how he died. Did he know that he's not going to reach his working place? Did he know that he's going to die that way? No. But what if he was not prepared? That is the thing. It's not all about dying. It's all where are you going after death? That is the point that you need to be thinking of. What are we going after death? It's not about what you have achieved in life. Yes. 
Remember the word of God say all things it will pass away. But the word of God that, that is telling us that you and I will stand before the judgment of God. You will not pass away because we stand before the judgment of God. Whether we like it or not. Whether our work is good or bad. We need to stand. He is the one that is going to qualify. Our work must be approved by him. Jesus needs to approve our work and call you a new name. That only him that know that name and you according to the ways of working. Be a faithful servant. You know, he compare, he said the parable, it was like, he said it's like a man going to a far journey and he left his, he left his servant. You know, let us go back there. Let us go back there. Mark. The book of Mark 13. The son of man, I'm reading 34. The son of man is a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servant and to every man his work and commanded the porter to watch. You know, it's just like you and I. You see, as you are doing the work of God, make sure you are working also your salvation. As you are doing my work, as you are winning soul, make sure you win your own soul too. By watching into prayer. You see things that is not pleasing God in your life. Pray God to deliver you. Pray. You see the sign of anger on you. Pray God to deliver you. You see the sign of unforgiveness. You find difficult to forgive others. Pray God to deliver you so that on that day you become worthy to enter into his kingdom. To enter into his kingdom. Watch ye therefore. <clears throat> For ye know not when the master of the house cometh at evening. At the midnight. In the morning. Any time that he comes. Make sure you are ready. Even if he meets you in the sleep, make sure you are ready. Make sure you are praying enough to make yourself ready. Because he will not tarry, he will come. And this generation even, you will not pass away. Before all these things, you will be fulfilled. The question is, are we watching? Watching is not a problem. You can watch, but you are deep in destruction. You can watch. And you are deep in destruction. You see, the Samaritan woman, she knew that the Messiah would come. But she did, it did not stop her to divorce five times. And he knew the word of God. The very word of God that he was telling her that the Messiah would come. Probably, he, the, we know that that very word of God was telling her also that you should not commit adultery. And the five that he was divorcing, it was not even his own. It was they were married before. Eh? We are waiting for the Messiah. When Messiah will come, he will teach us all things. No, the Bible is already teaching you all things. The Messiah will just come to judge all things that you are reading in the Bible. That is what the work of Messiah coming to do, because he's already teach you. The word of God is already there. Even when the sign came, they did not pay attention. Because the sign, Isaiah said that you'll be a virgin. A virgin will give birth to, to a son and his name will be called Emmanuel. Even when Mary the virgin, because everybody was talking about it. How come Mary has not yet got married? How come he found, him, he found herself pregnant? Ah, they forgot that a virgin will give birth to a child. The destruction, it did not make them to watch the sign to watch the sign even when jesus was growing up growing up he was not a common child he was different from other children from the age of 12 years old he have extra wisdom that the age the child of his age even the adult the mature adult they did not have that wisdom because it was not an earthly wisdom it was a heavenly wisdom from god they could not discern those signs. He was preaching people, other people in the temple, but they could not check that. Mm, why is this child is different? 
Let us go to the word of God. He said this. He even said that he's going to be in Bethlehem, but they did not pay attention because of distraction. The time we are living now is a dangerous time. Every preacher is talking, not every preacher, but those that fear God, they are talking about the time we are living now. We are in a critical time, a dangerous time, when the rapture can take place any moment. But still, are we taking heed of our life? Are we checking our life? Are we, are we observing the signs? Are we observing the sign that is happening right now? If we are observing the sign, this is not the time to, for argument. Argument brings bitterness, destruction, and forgiveness, all those kind of things. If you're observing the time, we be careful. We be faithful in the word of God. We be faithful in the presence of God. We will not be distracted living our life in a very careless way. Everything, when it comes to our salvation, everything matters. Everything matters. The way we talk matters. The way we watch things matters. The way we walk matters. The way we dress up also matters. And our heart matters. Everything matters. There is no nothing like it doesn't matter. Everything matters. When it comes to our salvation, everything matters. Because the Bible is still reminding us in the book of Ecclesiastes 12, 14. That God will bring all things into judgment. The secret thing that you think that, oh, is in my heart, nobody can see it. Yes, nobody can see it, but God that is going to judge you on that day can see it. He can see that you are not yet free from it. He can see that you, you so cherish that sin that you don't want to give up, you don't want to get rid of it. I was preaching to someone and I told this person, I said, please, let us do our restitution. We know that we get, most of us, we get those documents by lying. It's the time now to make it right by confessing, by making it right, by, conf by doing our recitation. He said, eh, 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 eh. that's why, th that's the reason why I don't want to be born again. Because if I come to the knowledge of truth, the truth will push me to do what you are telling me. Can you imagine? I said, you know what? You're already in the knowledge of truth. Because you, you can discern that if you obey the word of God, you are going to do what you don't want to do. So you are ready to do your own will than the will of God. You already make a choice. So you know your judgment is even the worst one because you know how to select. You know you are judging yourself. And the Bible is telling us that if you judge yourself, you will not be judged. Because you're already condemn, condemning yourself by the truth that you know. I say, how do you know that if you be converted, if you, if you come to the knowledge of truth, you change your way? Because you know that your way that you are living now, your ways is not right with God. That's why you don't want to go to the right way. You want to remain in the broad way because you know that there is a lot of challenge, a lot of strength in the, in the narrow way. Even knowing that the narrow way is the only way, you are making your choice. Let us watch. Watch the word that is coming out of our mouth and pray about it. Go to transform it. Watch our attitude and pray about it. Go to deliver us. Watch everything. It's not by carrying Bible. It's not by reading Bible. It's not by praying all the time. But your heart need to need deliverance. Your mind needs deliverance. Bring every hidden thing, every secret thing that is hidden in your conscience that only your conscience knows about it. Bring it out. Don't let your conscience bring it on the day of judgment. You better ask your conscience to bring it now so that you can repent and pray about it. So that you can repent and pray about it. There's many things our conscience, only now that you don't remember things, only now that you are forgetting things, that time your conscience will not be able to disobey God. It's the one that will report to you and I. He will report to you. He will bring everything. He say, God, 
that day even we were together and i was telling her that this is bad this is bad but she disobeyed me she carried on and do it it's not because i did not want her god i want her and the conscience is not going to be punished because it's there as a witness to record whatever we are doing there is no way in the bible there is no way in those people that are going to hell to say that hey i saw somebody that make heaven but the conscience is in hellfire no 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 you'll be there hey, somebody's conscience was suffering in hellfire no 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 no. somebody's heart is burning in hellfire and the person is not guilty oh god that only look at the hearts no you're all being you'll be in hellfire suffering if you don't watch and pray about the things that god is warning us is warning us we have warning this is the Bible verses that I can only get through. Get through. That is talking about watch and pray. That is giving us the warning. Be careful. The way you are living your life, you better start watching and pray. Because you don't know the day that will visit you. Everybody have different day of dying. Some people die on their very day of birth. Celebrate his birthday and die. Some people die after. Some people die in the morning. Some people in the evening. Some people in midnight. You don't know. You don't know. That is the reason why we need to watch and pray. Few days ago, I saw uh, my cousin posted a picture of a lady. That lady, she was in my mom's burial. That lady was in my mom's burial. I saw her because she came to greet me. The lady was there to give me, uh, to wish, to tell me that, oh, my condolences, you know, I used to be a, a, your, your mom, you know. How the, she was telling us how she used to talk with my mom, how she have a good relationship with my mom. She was trying to encourage us, not knowing that our own, she will be the next person to die. I was in shock when I saw a picture because in my mom's burial, this woman was not sick at all. I was wondering, asking my cousin, what killed this woman? What killed this woman is not a sickness of one week. What killed this woman is a sickness of days. The sickness of days. The sickness of days. He killed this woman. When she was encouraging me in my mother's burial, she did not know that she, her own is coming. Now let's say that she didn't watch and pray. How is she now? Where is she now? Where is she now? People that was coming to, I saw five people that was in my mom's burial died in less than four months. People that was, they saw my mom's dead, they died after. So when I heard they die, it made me to think about my life. When they told me so, so, so person died, I said, oh, she was there. And I saw how this woman was there. No sign of sickness. Oh my God. If those people knew that they would be the next to die, they would start preparing themselves. When somebody die, take it as a sign of your own is coming. Start praying. Say, Father, if my own will be the next one, make me ready. Let it not take me unaware. Let my death not take me in destruction. Make me ready. Make me to be sober. Make me to be watchful. To start preparing myself. Because when you go to another person's barrier, you think you are too healthy to die. Just because that person died with sickness. Some people die without being sick. My mother Senna died. He woke up in the morning. He took the cup. He was brushing his teeth in the morning. As he was brushing his teeth, he just, that's how we fell and died. Without chance to take him to the hospital. Before they reached the hospital, the blood was already coming out in his noise. And that's how he died. My uncle died. 
He woke up in the morning. He told his children, I'm going to buy bread. He died with the money in his pocket. Leaving his house, his bedroom, not even to reach the, the, his compound gates. He just fell. That's how he died. With the pocket money, with the money in his pocket, he told his children, I'm going to buy bread for breakfast. Did he reach? He did not reach. He did not even buy. How many people have planned for tomorrow? And God is telling you that, look at this fool. This night you know pass you by. Why are you thinking about tomorrow? Instead of use this opportunity to start preparing. To start preparing. Tomorrow is not your own. He said, think not about tomorrow. Because you don't even know whether you will reach that tomorrow. Whether you will reach that tomorrow. Every day, pray for another grace to make it right with God. To be faithful to his presence. So that that day, he will not take you distracted. It's not because you don't have warning. We have warning. Maybe it will be the day that you wake up in the morning preparing that you are going to work. The next minute, they are getting news in your working place that so, so, so person. So, so, so person. So, so, so person. You know? One day, I went to my work in the morning. Immediately, they came, I came. They just told me that somebody died. Derek died. I said, what? He died. I was there. I was downstairs. He was upstairs. How did he die? He was taking breakfast. Ah, Jesus. He was taking breakfast and he choked. And it was when, when he was choking, nobody was there to help him. That's how he died. You may be eating your own food that you cook. And it kills you because it is your time. Watch into prayer. You don't know when the dead will come and visit you. You don't know where your judgment will be. You don't know where you appear before the, the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus. Many people in hellfire, they still believe that they are sleeping. They are dreaming. They wake up. They never wake up. They are still there, sleeping, dreaming. Let us know, let it not be our portion. My brother, my sister, as I'm talking to you, just like the Bible verse, the Bible say, it said, Mark 13, verse 37, it said, And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch, 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 watch over all your life, watch over your salvation, watch over your spiritual life. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself also. We don't know. You might be too healthy to die, <laughs> but it will not stop you from dying. May the Lord bless you for today. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank God for the word of God. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. May the Lord bless you. More grace, more grace, more anointing from Almighty God to continue proclaiming his good news to the dying world. So we, 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 we wake up where we are sleeping. By the grace of God, may the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. As the word of the Lord said, you and I, we should watch and pray. Father Lord Jesus, he meant what he said. It's not joking. It's not joking. It was not joking when he said it, but it's not joking. Still today, it's not joking. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord give us the grace to watch and pray. As the word of the Lord said in the, in the book of Luke 18, Lord Jesus Christ said, that, watch always. He said, watch, as he said, the word of the Lord says, yeah, let me just go there. Praise Master Jesus. 18, Luke 18, verse 1. So the word of the Lord said, and he and spake a parable unto them and to this end, that a man ought always to pray and not to what? Not to faint. So you and I, Father Lord Jesus Christ said, we should not faint. We should continue our prayer. You work, you, you, so Father God woke you and I up in the morning, let us pray. In the day, let us pray. Before going to bed, let us pray. Praise Master Jesus. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. 
Because you and I, we must, we must, we must, as a child of God, not said I'm born again, but not, we must be saved. Many of us are born again, speaking in tongues, but the attitude is somehow questionable. So we have to, please, let us watch and pray. May the Lord give us the grace to watch and pray. So that day will not be surprise, surprise. We, when we see our lovely Jesus, we're so happy to see him because we watch and pray. We're running unto him, just love to see him and be with him. May the Lord give all of us the grace to do so in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. May the Lord bless you. So we are going to pray for the woman of God. For the virtue that went out of her, for God to replenish it unto her. For God to empower her more and more. In the name of your beauty, hedge your protection around any power, any spirit, any personality that wants to attack us spiritually, physically because of this maintain. For God to let it stand and let the, the, the spirit of the Lord raise the standard against them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray for the servant of God. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asians of the Father, you are worthy, you are mighty, you are excellent, you are wonderful. And I will thank you for this message, Almighty God. We thank you, everlasting Savior, for reminding us again to watch and pray, Almighty God. Father, you are awesome, you are beautiful. Father, mighty God, we thank you for your servant that you hold your whom you have used to be a blessing to us, Almighty God. Heavenly Father, mighty God, Father, replenish unto her all the virtue that went out of her, and I replenish, replenish unto her in the name of your anoint her fresh. Oh my God, and in the name of just send your angels to encamp around her to protect her, protect her family in the name of Jesus Christ, my father. And as you say, her to be a blessing to her, bless her in return in the name of Jesus Christ, my father. Any power, any spirit, any personality that want to attack her spiritually, physically, spiritually, oh Lord, my father, let your spirit raise the Satan against those powers in the name of Jesus Christ. And upon your anointing, a fresh anointing upon her more and more to stand and declare your good news, oh my. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Almighty God, bless our mighty God in return, Father. We ask you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God, we bless the name of the Lord. We are going to pray for ourselves. We are going to ask Father God, Father, please give me the grace to watch and pray. Give me the grace to stand on your word. Because the word of God is what Father God will judge you and I will. He will not judge you concerning my word. He will judge me. He will judge you. He will judge me through his word, his word, the Bible, the Holy Bible, the word that is in there. We are going, we, that day, we know you, you are like, ah, I don't know that you said we should watch and pray. We said you don't have my word. You don't have Bible. Why can't you read for yourself? May the Lord give us the grace. Let us pray for ourselves, for God to give us the grace to watch and pray, not to be distracted as the woman of God have by the grace of the, by the grace of God and by the help of the Holy Spirit say we should not be distracted. Let us pray. Let us pray for ourselves. Oh Lord, my Father, oh Lord, my God, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ, I am praying for myself, for giving me the grace of the Lord to watch and pray, for the Lord to watch and pray, that the Lord will not be distracted in the name of Jesus Christ, in any way that I would like to pray for your mercy, and I will pray for the Lord to watch and pray, 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 for the Give <inaudible> Not to fall into temptation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, to be sober, all of Father, to watch into prayer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as a Father, to be the doer of your word, Lord Jesus. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for this message. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, our contribution, I will call upon the woman of God for the contribution, evangelization. May the Lord bless you, man. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you can hear me. There is too much rain here. 
Yes, ma, we can hear you, ma. Okay. We are going back for contribution, woman of God. Thank you for that wonderful message. Thank you for the message. God will give us the grace to watch and pray in the mighty name of Jesus, the grace to fast in the name of Jesus, and no power will be able to move us, to distract us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are now going to go for our contribution. I'm going to read Malachi chapter 3. I'm taking from the verse 8 to 10. He said, Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee? In tithe and offering. Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring ye all the tithe into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now wherewith said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the window of heaven and pour you a blessing, that there shall be no room enough to receive it. Hallelujah. The verse 11, he said, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake, and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground, neither shall your vine cast a fruit before the time in the, in the field, said the Lord of hosts. Now, the Lord is talking about the offering and the tithe. We are going to move our offering and tithe as we will be singing this song, let us prepare our offering and tithe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Haya, 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 that is your name. We lift you higher, 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 Lord, that is your name. We praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. Oh, we praise your name, praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. We worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Oh, Lord, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you. Oh, Lord, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Haya, 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 that is your name. We lift you higher, higher. Hallelujah, Haya, Haya, Lord, that is your name. We praise your name, praise your name, praise your name. Oh Lord, we worship you, we worship you, we worship you. Father, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you, we exalt you. Oh Lord, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Father, we praise you, we praise you, we praise you. Hallelujah. Let us lift up our offering as we pray, our offering and tithe as we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jehovah, King of glory, we want to thank you for today. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for manifesting yourself in our life. Thank you for giving us the opportunity, Lord, to have an offering to put into the basket in your house, Lord. Thank you for the work that our offering will do, O oh Father. Thank you for your mighty power upon our life, Lord. We present the offering and time before you. We pray, O oh Lord God Almighty, that may you sanctify and multiply it, Lord. As you be doing the work of your heart, Father, remember and bless, O oh Lord, those that put into the basket today in the name of Jesus. My God and my King, remember those that have not. Bless them mightily, O oh Lord, so that next time they partake, O oh Lord God Almighty, in this blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Be that exalted, O Lord God Almighty. We give you all the praise and adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord bless you. We thank God for God. El Son Jehovah, excellent, wonderful Father. We thank God. We thank God for his goodness. Amen. We thank God. So right now, <clears throat> praise Master Jesus. With our weekly announcement, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 1 p.m. London time, pray with us season. 
please, if you have time to join us, you are 100% welcome. Yeah, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Tuesdays and a Thursday at a midnight, London time, mid, uh, midnight prayers. Please, if you have time, same, please join us if you have time. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Godly Children in Christ, Saturdays at 6 p.m. London time. Please bring your children, as the word of the Lord said, you we are, as a parents, we should train our children the way of the Lord. When they grow, they will not depart from it. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ, a parents in Jesus' name. Amen. So Monday's uh, Bible study twice in a month, in, in a, in a month, monthly at 8, 8 p.m. London, uh, 8 p.m. London time, twice in on twice Mondays. Praise in a month. Praise Master Jesus. So virtual summit time twice a month on the Mondays at 8 p.m. London time. Please join us. You will be blessed as we are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Weekly night VJ every Fridays at 11 p.m. London time. So every first Sunday of a each uh, month, sorry, Sundays, sun, sun, Sunday, our Sunday service at a 4, 4.30 p.m. time, London, London time. So every first uh, Sunday of uh, each and a month, Holy Communion, Father Lord Jesus Christ said, you and I, we should do it in remembrance of him. Every first week of the month, we have a fasting and a prayer to dedicate the month into God's hands. Please if be prepared next month to join us. November is coming by the grace of God to join us in the pray in the fasting and prayer. It will do you good, it will do me good. It's for our good. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord bless you. This is the our weekly announcement. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I will welcome the, the woman of God, the servant of God, for the benediction. Hallelujah. Let us pray. King of glory, I am that I am the beginning and the end. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you for today, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, for reminding us, O oh Lord Father, how to be watchful, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to be sober, to pray, in the, to watch into prayer, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, because it's not your will for us to perish. It's not your will for us to die in sin, but you want us to amend our ways, O oh Lord Father, to make it right with you, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, to check our life daily, O oh Lord Father, and to pray for deliverance, Father, we pray, O oh Lord, anything, any work of the flesh that is having dominion of our life, O oh Lord. Father, give us the grace to overcome it, O oh Lord. Father, deliver us, O oh Lord, Father, from it in the name of Jesus. Father, we don't want to be as a Samson, O oh Lord Jesus. Father, neither to be taking the, the, day, the day of the Lord to take us as the day of Noah. We don't want to be distracted in sin, O oh Lord, Father. Give us the grace, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to watch into prayer, O oh Lord, Father, to be ready to prepare ourselves, O oh Lord, Father, day by day, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, to be ready, O oh Lord. Just like Apostle Paul did, O oh Lord, Father, also give us the same grace, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to walk out our salvation with fear and trembling, O oh Lord, Father, not to be confident, O oh Lord, Father, but to, to serve you with fear and trembling, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to be safe, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord, Father, as you are working hard, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, in our salvation, O oh Lord, Father. Let us see, see you, O oh Lord, in your glory, O oh Lord, Father, on that day, O oh Lord, Father, in heaven, O oh Lord, Father, to have opportunity to enter into your kingdom that you have prepared for us from the beginning in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you, O oh Lord, Father, for your word, O oh Lord, Father, that is opening our eyes, O oh Lord, Father, for the light, O oh Lord, Father, that is taking out every darkness in our life, in our heart. Father, we pray that uh, David pray, O oh Lord, Father, give us a clean heart. The heart that will obey your commandment, O oh Lord, Father. The heart that will fear you, O oh Lord, Father, give us that heart, O oh Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, give us the mind, O oh Lord, Father, to think of heaven, not of healthy thinking that will pass away in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the grace, O oh Lord, Father, to obey your commandment, O oh Lord, Father, to obey it, O oh Lord, Father, to enjoy, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, this hard moment, O oh Lord, Father, that you are facing today, O oh Lord, to rejoice in heaven later in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Let us share the grace and fellowship. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. A few minutes, a few seconds, silence, please. Shalom, God bless you all in the name of Jesus.